the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. Claimant sought $15,000 in attorney's fees and costs pursuant to Arkansas Code Annotated Section 2519-107-D1 from UALR, allegedly arising out of a circuit court FOIA lawsuit in which the parties negotiated a settlement agreement. In its order, the circuit court expressed no view on whether claimants should recover attorney's fees under FOIA, but stated that resolution of that issue lies with the Claims Commission. UALR answered denying liability for attorney's fees. Specifically, UALR denied that claimant's clients substantially prevailed in the underlying FOIA litigation. Claimant replied, stating that the FOIA lawsuit would not have been settled but for UALR's substantial compliance with the outstanding FOIA request. On December 3, 2018, UALR moved for summary judgment, arguing that claimant's client had not substantially prevailed in the underlying lawsuit and had not obtained such a ruling from the circuit court. Claimant responded, arguing that his client had substantially prevailed upon UALR's disclosure of information sought in the FOIA lawsuit. Respondent replied, reasserting its position that summary judgment was appropriate. The Claims Commission then, then held this claim in abeyance to allow claimant time to seek further findings from the circuit court. After seeking findings from the circuit court, claimant sent a letter to the Claims Commission stating that the circuit court refused to address the issues and denied the motion seeking further findings without opinion. Following a hearing on April 21st, 2021, the Claims Commission denied and dismissed the claim. Claimant then filed a motion for reconsideration stating that it never sought a ruling from the circuit court on whether it was the prevailing party in the underlying FOIA litigation. In its motion, claimant advised that it had since filed a motion with the circuit court for a substantive ruling on whether it was the prevailing party. The circuit court entered an order denying claimant's motion for determination of prevailing party as improper and untimely. Claimant appealed the circuit court's ruling. The Arkansas Supreme Court affirmed the circuit court's ruling denying claimant's motion. Subsequently, the Claims Commission entered an order denying claimant's motion for reconsideration. Claimant appeals. Ms. Tucker, do you have anything further to add from the Commission? No, sir, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Are there any, any members have any questions or want to hear from either side on this? Do I have a motion to affirm the ruling of the Claims Commission? I have a motion to rule, affirm the ruling of the Claims Commission. Do I have a second? And a second. All those in favor say aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries.